Hey, what is up everyone? This is Austin and today we are opening up a box of Commander Masters Draft Booster Box. This is my first time ever opening up any Commander Masters product of any type. Um, so I went with the Draft Booster because I think it's where the best value is. This is actually my first YouTube video I've ever created before and so I'd love to get any feedback what you think of the audio the visuals um, and overall of the video i've been opening quite a bit of product myself over the past year i watch a lot of videos to kind of get an understanding of what the pool rates are and so since i'm already opening product i figured might as well create a video and share kind of what i'm opening and how i'm selling them just on buy list to keep opening product because let's be honest, it's it's tough to quit opening product. You know? um, I don't buy singles like I should. <laughs> um, but anyways, there's a lot of great pulls in here. For our first booster, we got a Twisted Abominant. Oh my gosh, right off the bat. We got a Deflecting Swat. That's an amazing hit. Um, Lifeblood Hydra, Giselle Gold Main. We got a Tetsuko. Teshar, Ancestor, Priest of the Blood Rite, Jade Mage. Let's see if you can see it right here. Rides from the Tides, Abundant Harvest, Prophetic Prism, Tragic Slip, Excluded, okay, Counterspell. Okay, so right off the bat, we get one of the top rares, which is awesome. We got Deflecting Swat right there. So I'm gonna put that right there. Some of the rares. I should think of how I wanna sort. Maybe I'll, I'll get better at that. I'm gonna put just the rest right here. All right, so yeah, like I said, I actually have been opening packs for the past year and I sell that, I resell them to Card Kingdom because that's what I've seen has the best buy list. We got Alharu, Fairy Artisans, nice. Sekhar, Valda, Keeper of the Flame, Raph. Let's see if we got any good uncommons over here. Nothing, no big hits in this pack, but we'll take that. Like, very artisans. Um, awesome. But yeah, so, with that being said, like I mentioned, on commons we have quite a few good hits. There's Ashenod's Altar, um, we got the Soul Rings, Spellseeker, oh my gosh, look at that. Spellseeker followed by one of everyone's favorite, Talrand. Um, Tabarax, Mada Rogue's Passage, Bastion of Remembrance, that's a good one. Um, Sandstone Oracle, Ram Through, Lysian. So I'm not gonna go through all of the commons and uncommons. Um, mostly wanna show what we're pulling with the, the mythics and the rares. But if we do see some Ashmont's Altar, Lightning Greaves, obviously those are over five bucks. So we'd love to see that. We got Legion Vanguard, Emerald Medallion. Not the most expensive medallion, but oh my gosh, look at that. Followed by a Heliod Sun Crown. This is uh, probably around 13, 14 bucks. I'll put prices up. Thrandynmo, okay, that's a very playable uncommon. Armorcraft, Return to Dust. Okay, Gutter Snipe, great common. So maybe, I'll do is anything worth some money I'll, I'll just put over here yeah so like I said not the most expensive medallion right now but I play a lot of green so I'm super happy to see that um, okay we got a monarch token followed by murmuring mystic imps mischief nice it's a, a good card obnixilis of the black oath captain ripley vance akiri loyal subordinate melody shift Okay, anything great on here, Frantic Surge. All right, I'll put this over here in a pile. So we still have three packs left in this left column. Um, Maelstrom Wanderer, Deadly Rollick, look at that. Uh, free spell, followed by a Hellkite Charger. De Deadly Rollick is around $15, I think. And uh, Subiri. Uh, anything great in the uncommons, prismatic lens. Um, currently, there's not there's 
not any commons that are over two dollars but there's several uncommons that are over two dollars so that's that's what we're looking for once we pass the the rares and mythics but yeah like i said savine's reclamation okay braids mo loyal soul tyrant arcane signet loyal guardian pulsive this is just a great set to if you play any formats. I play mostly Commander um, with friends um, and myself actually. I uh, play test a lot of my decks but there's just so many good cards for your decks in Commander. Tabarax. Okay, Hope's Demise. Undergrowth Stadium. Nice one. That one's a couple bucks. Followed by Savala Heart of the Wilds. This this price dipped for a little bit after the set released but and then it's been going back up. Um, it's around $13 I believe right now. Um, I said this is my first time ever making a video so I apologize if my formatting if I haven't figured that out yet but I'd love your feedback dark still can get command tower we're looking for some borderless uncommons as well okay so we're in the second pile now um, of these draft boosters okay we got an Eldrazi token pilgrim's eye savage beating I like that um, Tempt with Vengeance, okay, and a, a three pack, a three rare pack, Xantia Sleeper Agent. Got Hamza, Meteoric Mace, Factor Fiction, Cold Selects, okay. So far, we haven't hit any of the great uncommon hits, which, um, which is one of the, the staples of the set, I think, is finding a lot of great commons and uncommons, but so far, we haven't hit any worth value. Tooth and Nail, what a great card. It's not worth a ton of value right now. The price dipped, but it can do a lot of great things. Rankle Master of Pranks, followed by Judith the Scourge Diva. Path to Exile, that's nice. Okay. Um, generous Gift. But yes, yeah, so like I said, I open a lot of packs and I sell them to Card Kingdom because... I've looked into most of the buy lists, and in my opinion, if you get credit, that's where the value's at because they pay up to 80 and sometimes even over 100% of market price for certain cards. Got Song of the Dryads, Commandeer, that's a great one. Um, Sadisi, Zahid. So, yeah, for example, um, Skyshot claim that's a great common. I recently opened up a Lost Caverns of Ixlon pack. And I got a Cavern of Souls, which currently has a market price of about $31. But if you sell it, just the basic version to Card Kingdom, you can get $33 in credit. So over market price. We got Mind's Glow, another Maelstrom Wander, and Zada Hedron Grinder. Okay. Eudora, that's a fun card. Final Parting, Storm Kill, and I love being a Storm Kill artist. Reliquary Tower, great. Deadly Recruits. Go down this reach. Awesome. But yeah, so with that being said, I will try and put up prices of cards over $2. And also, if anyone's interested, I'll put up some of the Card Kingdom buy list prices. They're always switching out, so it might not. Okay, we got Rorix Blade Wing. Fierce Guardianship, are you kidding me? So far, we have three of the free spells. We got the two best ones in Deflecting Swat and Fierce Guardianship, but we also have Deadly Rollick, which is awesome. And then we got a Bloodspore Trinex, Thrinex, and then a Rafik of the Many. Awesome. And a Lightning Greaves. Look at that. What a great pack. Fierce Empath. Okay. But yeah, so I'll try and put up some of the prices. Card Kingdom always switches out what they're buying or what they're selling and their prices. It's very until I might not, they might not have a buy list for every card that I pull that's over $2, but I'll try to include some of that. Cyclonic Rift, wow, look at this pack. Hit after hit. This is another great pull, around $30. Um, I'm going to have to shift where I'm putting some of the, the valuable cards. Let's see if you can still see all of that. Um, I'm going to have to come up with a better system to where to put my packs um but we got audric 
and a Rishkar. Rishkar, great card, especially for plus one, plus one strategies. And eggs got a soul ring. Take that. Burnished heart. There's plenty of cards this set that got demoted to rare to uncommons. Um, Kurtar's Wrath, that's one that used to be a rare, but it's now just an uncommon. But yeah, I started playing Magic about 12 years ago, and then I stopped for a long time. Oh my gosh, look at that. A <laughs> foil psych rift, two in one box. Got a treasure nabber, another great rare. Miri, okay, that's, that's nice. Whisper, extinguish all hope. Cartographer's Hawk. Anything good over here? Nothing killer. Wow, two psych rifts back to back. This is, you know, we're, we're not getting crazy mythic value, but we're getting such rare value, which is, well, we, you know, we can't complain about that. Soldier Furious Ripe, Sapphire Medallion, and a Kozilek the Great Distortion. Not the, the mythic Eldrazi that we're hoping for. Um, he's just a couple bucks, uh, but it's still, you know, Eldrazi is an Eldrazi. So we'll take that. But yeah, so I, I stopped for about eight or nine years playing, and then last year I just was in Walmart. I bought a booster pack of Dominar United, and in that one pack that I bought, I got a Shieldred the Apocalypse. <laughs> so, you know, that that the rest is history. I got sucked back into to opening booster packs. We got a Scythe Claw, a Wrath of God, Ashling the Pilgrim. So nothing nothing too great in this pack, which is honestly, um, you know, the fact that we've been getting a good pull in almost every booster pack, that's awesome. Um, we're in our last column, second booster in our third column. So let's see if we can get some of those good mythics. Got a clue token, <laughs> Obscuring Haze. There is our fourth free spell, my goodness. Inferno Titan and a Demon Lord Bells and Lock. Okay, and a Slime Foot, the Stowaway. Rick's Feast of Succession, Sane Twinate, that's pretty nice. And if I miss anything, please do let me know. Um, if I miss anything in the comments or you have feedback, like I said, I'm just trying to learn with this. Um, would love to, to know what type of things you look for in a booster pack opening. We got a servo, Mowu Loyal. Uh, we got Sublime Exhalation, nice. Yisan, the Wanderer Bard, and a Kemba. So nothing too crazy. Um, and a Vandal Blast, that's nice. But yeah, would you prefer prices to be shown for cards over $1 or over $2? Um, typically a lot of people don't think it's worth reselling a card if it's over just over $1, but you know, if that's helpful, I'd love to do that. Song of the Dryads, a foil. Love that. Hammer of Pizan, okay. Love that. And a Moral Fond the Boundless. Wow, good pack. Nothing crazy, but a lot of those add up to um, have, you know, to become a, a good pack. So Tragic Slip, Witching Well, Faithless Looting. Also, is it helpful for me to go through each of the the commons and uncommons and say what I get, or just focus on the beginning of the pack. So, we got a Spirit, Fire Mind Vessel, Rune Scar Demon, Necrosar the Mind Razor. All right. We only have a few packs left. We haven't had, like, any of the top Mythic hits, but we have gotten Fierce Guardianship and Deflecting Swat, so that makes up a good portion of the Price pack back. So we got a City's Blessing, followed by a Custody Squire, Regal Behemoth, Mangara the Diplomat. Oof, not, not the pack that we were hoping for in our third to last. Ewit, that's good. Eternal Witness. Kodamus Reach. Nice. Um, okay, two packs left. Can we see anything great from this? for all right real quick jet medallion um that's one of the top medallion hits kaikar wins fury goes out so oh and a borderless 
soul ring that's about eight dollars if i'm not mistaken um i'll double check but that alone that's a dread return nice that's a, a good on un uncommon all right last pack magic can we get can we see some magic here all right elemental token we got a campfire <laughs> the great henge <laughs> look at that last pack magic with the great henge that is amazing that's, I believe, the second most expensive um, Mythic Rare in the set. And then we got a Vindictive Lich, Freilis, Land of War, Fury. Wow, a great hand. So that is, I was not expecting that. Um, you know, Jeweled Lotus is the top hit, but a great hinge, I believe, is second place. Um, wow, amazing pack. And so, going through some of the, the rares... Um, this is some good value that we got. We'll see if it's enough to, to make up for the price of the box, which I paid two seventy four. dollars We have a Deflecting Swat, Spellseeker, um, Heliod, Deadly Rollick, Fierce Guardianship. Um, I'll put up some of the prices on the screen. Um, but yeah, that's my first video opening Commander Masters or any magic product, um, in general. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of it. If you have any feedback or if you did like the video, please like and subscribe and I'll try and, and share more videos and see if you can resell the value that you get from booster packs to keep opening packs. Well, thanks everyone.